All right, today we're gonna to be looking at probably the most interesting style of mezcal out there, Pachuga. There's a lot to learn, a lot to talk about, but stay tuned to the end for some super fun footage of what I call Pachuga Fest 2022. All right, let's get after it. So what is Pachuga mezcal? Well, Pachuga is the Spanish word for breast. How this relates to mezcal is originally a turkey or chicken breast would be hung up in the still during distillation. But there are many meats that can go into a pachuga. Here's some tasty lean buffalo meat being loaded into a copper still at the Salvador's Mezcal Palenque. But it's not just meats. Fruits and spices are essential to add flavor to the agave spirit, mostly during the third distillation. With that in mind, I find pachuga flavors to be warm and a fantastic wintertime sipper. It always reminds me of Thanksgiving or Christmas. Now, Pachuga is the common name for this mezcal style. The official name is Destilado con, and then whatever is added. For example, Destilado con pollo, distilled with chicken. Destilado con elote, distilled with corn. But for the sake of this video, I'll refer to this style as Pachuga. It's the common and admittedly unofficial name. Pachugas can be made with many kinds of meats, fruits, vegetables, spices, grains. So let's look at some of the fabulously interesting bottles and batches out there. This pachuga is crazy interesting and a darling in the mezcal community. We have a lobster pachuga, which is a collaboration between rock star mescalera Rosario Angeles Vasquez and Alvin Starkman, who runs mezcal educational tours in Oaxaca. Rosario's Palenque is in Santa Catarina Minas, Oaxaca, famously known for its clay pot distilled mezcals. There's been two different batches. The first one is lobster, banana, pineapple, mango, and cinnamon. And here we have Rosario drizzling maple syrup on the lobster as she prepares the clay pot for the distillation. The vapors from the distillation rise up and they condense on the meat that's suspended or hung up in the still. And then it drips down and then the different cuts are blended into mezcal. Another batch uses lobster, red fruits, and Canadian ice wine. I sense that one is the Alvin Starkman influence. Awesome work by Rosario, a fabulous mescalera, and from one Swifty to another, all I gotta say is her t-shirt, on point. All right, I'm gonna go over some great bottles out there in the market. We got the Salvador's Buffalo Pachuga, which I talked about earlier. I've been to their Palenque twice. Lalo and his crew in Tlacalula, Oaxaca are always welcoming. Their Buffalo Pachuga is fantastic, and I've been told they're working on a few other ones for next year. I'm down for whatever they put out. Now we have the Tospa Pachuga made from a wild turkey breast. I got a lot of love for this brand. I got to meet Edgar and Alessandro, the guys that run it, in their Palenque earlier in the year in the Sierra Norte region of Oaxaca. If you see their turkey pachuga out there, give her a try. Another great one out there on the market is the Senco Sentidos Pachuga de Mole Poblano. This is a pachuga with chicken, and a poblano pepper mole. And I find you can really pick out the dark chocolate sweetness and that awesome spiciness in the mole. This Cinco Sentidos Pachuga, a must try. Next up, Vago Alote made with corn. This would be a vegan pachuga and an absolute classic. This mezcal was made famous by Aquilino Garcia Lopez and now it's been carried on by his sons, Temo and Mateo in the Hios de Aquilino bottle. All of the mezcals I've talked about so far are made in Oaxaca, with the exception of the Cinco Sentidos Mole Pachuga. That's made in the state of Puebla, just north of Oaxaca. The base mezcal for pachugas in this region is typically Espadine or Agave Angustifolia. But now I'm gonna talk about the state of Michoacan. They have some of the craziest combinations of pachugas out there. First for Michoacan, we have Isidro Rodriguez, who's a veritable mad scientist when it comes to pachugas. We have duck, fish, rooster, apples, and other fruit. What, what's your favorite? Tejocote. Tejocote. That one. <laughs> Asidra didn't have any bottled up in his local brand, but that didn't stop me from taking a liter back with me in plastic. This is a damn good mezcal made with agave in a cadence, and the combination of flavors really work. Up next, we have some of Michoacan's finest, Don Mateo. Emilio Vieira, the maestro mescalero for Don Mateo, makes some fine mezcals in his venada in Pino Benito, Michoacan. But this one is a special batch made by his mom. Ready for this one? This is distilled with 
turkey, deer, rabbit, and iguana. Add to that the fruits and spices, and also the pine they use in the area to make the mezcal. They all make this pechuga sing. The base agaves for this mezcal are cuprieta and cenizo. Emilio's mom, Delia, rocks this pechuga. But I'm gonna finish off with a brand that I absolutely love, La Luna Mezcal. This is their Habali pechuga, and at first I was incredibly confused talking about it with one of their mescaleros, Adrian Galagos. I thought it was a pechuga made with a base of agave convalis, which is known as Habali. This surprised me as I didn't think Habali grew all the way up in Michoacan. But then Adrian corrected me, it's a destilado con Habali, a wild boar pechuga made with a base of cuprieta and inakitans. But this intrigued me nevertheless, envisioning a pechuga of baby back boar ribs. Okay, not quite, but the meat in this pechuga is not too intense and it's got those awesome sweet citrusy flavors that I love with Michoacan mezcals. And one thing to note, La Luna mezcals are only twice distilled and I was talking to the owner, Salvador Chavez, about that and he feels it gives it a bit better a body and texture. But over the last year, La Luna has been cranking out all kinds of amazing and unique pechugas. In April 22, they hosted groups from all over the United States to help make their special batches of pechuga. And I was lucky enough to be there to get in on the action. And there I got to meet the Maestro Mescalero, certified awesome dude, young legend, Hernand Hernandez Escott. And as you can see, I was just a little bit stoked. They make some of the best mezcal in the market, in my opinion, and damn, do they know how to have fun. Just wait. Like and subscribe for more mezcal content, but most of all, enjoy the footage from what I personally call Pachuga Fest 2022. Salute. No, this is. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me cut them in line. Got You want to stir a cocktail? Stir this one. <laughs> that looks so tasty. Put your back into it, brother. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Continuamos os caras aqui se passando você, parente. Cheers, amigo. Saludita. Cheers, Lucas. Ah! <laughs> oh, one for Chava. Saludita. Alright. Salud, amigo. <laughs>